Hey everyone, it's Prof. Welcome back to The Brand Study. If you are new here or finding me for the first time, welcome to my channel. On today's video, I'll be showing you how to create metallic digital rings and notebook covers to go along with the rings to help keep you organized this school year. For this tutorial, I'll be using my 2020 iPad Pro 12.9 inch with the second gen pencil. I'll also be using the Procreate app, Keynotes app, and importing it all into GoodNotes. If you have a newer iPad and you don't yet have the Procreate app, I'm seriously going to need you to reevaluate your life because it's amazing. I also suggest that you go ahead and grab yourself um, a cup of tea and let's get creative. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is open up a blank canvas and here I'm going to go to my color palette and I'm going to choose a gray color to start off with. And now I'm going to use um, the brush, it's the technical pen brush, uh, to basically draw a straight line. So now I'm just going to draw a straight line. And in order to get the line as straight as possible, as you can see, it's a little crooked. I'm just holding down my pencil here and making sure that the line is straight. So I love the fact that Procreate kind of autocorrects once you hold your pencil down. So then I'm going to go ahead and draw on that line a c-shaped curve and so again holding the pencil down and i'm going to draw another one right um, in the center and then i'm going to just connect the two by just drawing a little loop um, like so and once i see that i like it i'm just going to go ahead and fill in the color by dragging and dropping the color in so now i'm going to go ahead and this is the part that's a little tedious because i want to erase this line and so i'm I'm going into my eraser and I'm just deleting um, or erasing, I should say, that line and just kind of um, making sure that I don't touch the ring itself. So once, um, and you might need to adjust your eraser just to make sure that you're not getting too close there. So once that line is completely erased um, and it looks good, then you want to go back into your color palette, the gray color here, and you just want to go ahead and finish filling in that ring. Um, when you drag and drop the color, it doesn't completely fill in the ring, which is a nuisance, but you just go ahead and finish filling in that ring to get it completely shaded. So once that part is done and the ring is exactly to your liking, um, then what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to click this S shape up here. And basically, we are going to just click on the ring itself, select it, and then we're going to swipe down with three fingers. And then once we're swiped down, we're going to do copy and paste. And once we've copied and pasted, um, you see it there when we click on our layers that those two boxes up there, it says from selection. And so now what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to click the wrench and we are going to insert a photo. Now I've already gotten my metallic prints. I get them off of Google and you could find some that are free that you can download for like personal use. If um, you are downloading anything, make sure you check out their licensing for commercial use if you plan on selling it. So that's really important. So I'm just going to insert that and I'm basically going to... Um, enlarge it a little bit and I'm going to put it right over my ring. So placing it right over my ring and making sure that um, I try to get it as close to the size of the ring as possible. And then I'm going to go to my layers here. So click on those two boxes up here and then you can see that the inserted image is there and I'm going to click on that second layer. It says from selection and then we are going to click select and you see there goes the ring right there and then I'm going to come down to the bottom and click invert and then there you have it. It's been inverted. Now you want to just go back to your um, layers and you're going to now click on that um, image, the inserted image and you are going to then just click clear and voila, beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that a beauty oh my gosh that looks so good so anyways once that part is done that's the really hard part the next part is pretty simple and we're just going to just draw um a little semi-circle here to kind of give it that um the shape of a real ring and we're just going to fill that little circle in and as you can see <laughs> the drag and drop doesn't always work um 
perfect the first time but you know just practice practice and you'll get it so that's basically our ring and of course you can make the ring um you know more slanted um however which way you want um it doesn't matter you know practice and kind of get it to your liking so now we're gonna go ahead and kind of um so now we're gonna uh, go back to our gallery and we are going to basically um select the last project that we worked on and which is the ring and we're going to save it as a png so we're going to export it now now i'm going to go ahead and open up an app called magic eraser and this is going to allow my ring to have a transparent background so once the app is open it is free all you have to do is watch an ad um, at the end so just go ahead and import your photo this is the most recent photo that I have here. So I'm going to import my ring and then I'm just going to um, click erase and then I'm going to choose the target area and then I'm just going to click on the area that I want to erase. And now my ring has a completely transparent background. And so we're going to just watch this little commercial. That way we are using the app for free and then we're just once it's done going to click save, click yes, OK, and now we are good to go and we can then import our rings into Keynote. So now we're just gonna go into Key to my Keynote and I'm gonna click that plus sign and I'm gonna click on a new blank document, a white one, and I'm selecting and deleting everything. So once I've selected and deleted everything, I'm gonna go ahead and click those three dots and click document setup. And then I'm gonna click slide size and choose the three um, by four. And so I'm gonna click done and I am going to then go ahead and click this shapes box and I'm going to use this uh, square um, shape. You can use whatever shape that you want, like the one that has the curved edges, but I prefer um, the one that has the straight edges for this particular notebook. So that's what I'm doing. And so you're just kind of adjusting it and you can always go back and readjust this. Um, but this is kind of going to give me an idea of what my notebook is going to look like. So I like to start with um, doing this first before I import my rings that I've just created. So next I'm going to choose a fill color and I start off with like a gray. Of course, I adjust the fill color later into whatever color my heart desires for my notebooks. So then I'm going to go um, to arrange and I'm going to lock um, this so that it doesn't move. Um, when I import my rings, just makes it a little bit easier for me to get my rings aligned. So next I'm going to go back and I'm going to click um, on that plus sign and photos or video. And then I'm going to click on recent and this is going to show me my most recent um, photo that I just did. And so there goes my ring right there and perfect. So then what I want to do is I'm going here to that paintbrush and I'm clicking on image and you see that box is so huge and I'm just going to decrease it in size um, by editing the mask basically and that just allows me to have um, so I'm not working with a large um, like area um, spatial area and I can just easily uh, adjust it and resize it. So once I get it down, I'm just going to click done and I'm going to then drag this and see now I can make it bigger without like having a huge um, box to work with. And I'm just going to drag it and place it alongside um, the notebook where I want it. Uh, but I think I'm going to have to readjust the size of this um, notebook because this is way too small. So I'm going to push back my ring here and I'm just going to um, unlock this layer and I'm just going to resize that box and just get it to the size that I want and click on the ring itself and click copy and then we're going to paste it um, and we're going to repeat this process um, about five times and then I'm just going to go ahead and once I have um, about five rings here I'm just going to group them together and then I'm going to copy the group so I was going to do these four and then it didn't work out so I'm just going to go ahead and add another one um,
and in order to select all of the rings um so basically you click on one with your fingers and then you click on the second the third the fourth and the fifth and then you're going to click right here where it says group and then there you're going to copy it and then you're going to paste it and you can always ungroup um, these rings right if you need to adjust them for any reason so you can always do that um, I, I needed an extra ring at the bottom so I went ahead and ungrouped them so I can just copy and paste one single ring and place an extra ring at the bottom so if you need to also adjust the rings you can do that I just like doing it this way to just minimize my work and to ensure that all of my rings are pretty much the same size so as you can see it's coming together it looks great um, at least for me <laughs> I like the way that it looks and so now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go back to the shape box and I'm gonna click another shape and I like to just kind of put a box up there that way I can label these folders in good notes and know exactly what they are and you just adjust that um, know what subject it's for and you can adjust that box however which way you like to make it thin or thick um, and I don't like to name them here in keynotes because I'm exporting it as a PDF file so once you name it in keynotes it stays that name you can't change it in good notes so I'd rather just name it in keynotes so then I'm gonna click that paintbrush and I'm gonna lock everything and then I'm going to go to style and this is where you can have all the fun you can just change um, it to whatever color you want and just get creative and you can do this actually multiple times with using um, the same base and just kind of um, you know save as basically whatever color and importing it into good notes and having just all of the colors um, here if you'd like so um, that's pretty much it so once um, I like this color here so I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of adjust a little bit um, the rectangular shape and once everything is exactly how I want it I'm going to add a little bit of a shadow here just to kind of give it some dimension and you can play with the shadows and see which one that you like. I use different shadows all the time um, just to kind of test it out and see. So after I'm done, um, I change the color of that box on top. I like the white better. So then I'm going to go ahead and click those three dots again. And now I'm going to go down and we're going to export it as a PDF and I'm going to open it in GoodNotes. So open in GoodNotes and we're going to import as a new document and boom, there we have it guys. There goes our notebook that we've just created with our really nice digital rings. And I think these covers look so much better than the ones that originally come with GoodNotes. Um, as you can see, I don't use any of the GoodNotes covers. I kind of customize everything. Um, to my aesthetic, to my liking, and it just makes me feel good <laughs> when I open up my good notes and see my own kind of creations and I know uh, it motivates me to just get some work done. Alright, so once you have like your notebook, um, you open it up. Here I'm just kind of showing you how to name your notebook. So once you've imported um, your notebook into GoodNotes, like I said, this is where I like to kind of just um, either write uh, the subject name on the notebook itself or you can type it in and choose like a cool font and you can download fonts too into GoodNotes. I'm just using the marker felt one here but you can download fonts um, into your GoodNotes to use that are pretty cool and if you want a video about that just let me know and I can show you how to do that as well and see here you can just add pretty much any page that you want. So that is it guys. Um, that is how you create um, the digital metallic rings and also the notebooks and I also have a video on how you can create these folders too on my channel so be sure to check it out if you guys are interested in more of these videos um, go ahead and click the like button let me know in the comments down below and I can show you some other pretty cool things that you can do to help keep you organized also, don't forget to check out my playlist on my channel so that you can see the review of the case that's holding my iPad and also my iPad review. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to subscribe and I am looking forward to seeing you on my next one. Bye guys!